Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Exposing the Narcissist and today I will be looking at why does the narcissist like to come back because narcissists have a tendency to discard, ignore and block people who they are not happy with or who are not giving them what they want but in time the narcissist usually comes back, stops ignoring you or unblocks you. To add insult to injury, not only does the narcissist want to open the lines of communication again, but they also want to act as if they never did you anything. They never cut you off or blocked you. They just want to carry on, like things have always been nice and dandy between the both of you. But why do they do this? Why do they even come back? Why don't they just stay gone? It all has to do with narcissistic supply. The more sources of narcissistic supply they have, the better. And the narcissist is usually not willing to permanently let go of any supply. There is always that possibility that if they are ever falling short on narcissistic supply, they will want back in. This is why if you want a narcissist to truly leave you alone, you have to be the one to block them out completely. Otherwise, sooner or later, when it suits them, they will want to come back. Let's first look at why they come back after ignoring you or blocking you. When a narcissist ignores you or blocks you, it is just another form of the infamous silent treatment that narcissists like to use to punish people. It means you may have offended the narcissist, which is easily done by not giving them what they want. You could have said something that they deem to be insensitive. You could have just chosen to prioritize someone or something over them. You could have just told them no or denied them something. The possibilities can be endless and the silent treatment is a passive aggressive technique narcissists use to bully people into giving them what they want. Narcissists also love being chased, so sometimes they will ignore you to see how much of an effort you will make for their love or attention again. Narcissists want to feel needed and ignoring is a way to get someone to work hard for their attention, which makes them feel appreciated. But either way, the narcissist sees it as some sort of punishment for their victims. And after punishing you for a while, when they come back, they are hoping that you are more receptive to them and that you would do everything in your power to avoid them blocking you or ignoring you once more. I did this video on why the narcissist ignores you. And my final advice was to make it a permanent arrangement. Basically, when they ignore you or block you, you make sure that you do the same on your end. Otherwise, the narcissist will keep playing these games of blocking and unblocking or ignoring you and then not ignoring you. It can be very emotionally draining and it is just so manipulative and childish. We have to put an end to their games by removing ourselves from the equation whenever possible. When it comes to the narcissist discard, there is so much to say, but I will keep it simple because I have done quite a few videos such as these. There will be links in the description. But basically, when the narcissist discards you, it is because they think they have found a better replacement and that what you have to offer cannot compare to what this new supply is offering them. So they will drop you like a hot potato, giving no thought about how much it may hurt you or even stop to consider the things you've done for them. The narcissist simply doesn't care. They just want what they think is the next best thing and they just end up viewing you as an obstacle in their way that needs to be removed with any force necessary. So if they have to break you into a million pieces and toss you aside, that is what they will do. But after all that effort in getting rid of you, 
the narcissist can still decide to come back. And again, they will want to pretend that they never did you anything wrong or that you all just need to forget the past and move forward. They will try to love bomb you and make lots of false promises to try and win you over again. When a narcissist returns and behaves like this, it can be because of one of three things. One, things may have gone sour with the new supply, meaning the new supply may have kicked them to the curb and now they want to come crawling back to you. The second reason could be that the grass was not as green as it looked, meaning the narcissist thought they were getting a better deal by ditching you for someone else only to realize that they had it better with you. The third and final reason why a narcissist would come back after discarding you would be that you may have managed to pick yourself up and just move on without them. You didn't allow the discard to keep you down. You kept moving forward, focusing on your development and healing. You may have even found someone new. Any signs of success or progression almost guarantees that the narcissist will come sniffing around to see what's up. Narcissists do not want you to move on. They do not want you to recover from their abuse. They do not want you to find happiness or success without them. In the mind of the narcissist, they are the only ones allowed to move on, not you. So they will come hoovering, hoping you take them back so that they can ruin you and leave you again. But to wrap this all up, we can see that the narcissist only cares about what they want and they have no problem hurting people in order to get their wants and desires met. They see us as toys that they can play with when they see fit, toys that they can toss out of their crib and get them back when they feel like it but we are not toys we are thinking feeling individuals and we should no longer take part in their selfish games and the best way to do that is cutting them off for good and even if you cannot go completely no contact you can still emotionally detach and avoid them as much as possible right now I want to hear from you. Do you know why a narcissist has hoovered or is hoovering you at the moment? Is it one of the reasons I covered today? Please let me know in the comment section below. But as always, I hope this was useful. If it was, please don't forget to like this video. Many thanks for listening. <music>